Hey guys and girls, what's up? Uh, it's K7. I'm just making this video real quick for people who are having problems when building a game for randomization into the Citra emulator and then they get that um, annoying pop-up error. So this video is mainly for those people. If you want to watch, if you're even not having this problem, if you're having this problem in the future, then you can watch it. But if not, you can just go someplace else or something like that because this video is for people who are having issues with their game loading when running the Citra emulator. No offense to any of you guys who are not, but this video obviously would not be to you or for you. So anyway, uh, let's just jump right into it. Oh, wait. Also, before we get started, if you hear some fan noise in the background, I apologize. It's a little hot, so I have some fans on. So uh, excuse me for that. But anyway, as you can see here, I have the PK3DS open, and I have two folders open on each side of the monitor here. As you can see, I have my extracted game, and then I have the folder that I'm going to put the files that are needed into that I extract it from my extracted game so we're gonna focus only on two highlights for this particular instance unlike the other tutorial where you see that I use all of the files and folders this works a little bit more efficiently because we're gonna only focus on the ROM FS and EXE FS folder so we're gonna do as we always do as I instruct in the other videos well in that other randomization video where you're going to hold control and then you're going to highlight only the ROM FS and the EXE FS folders. You're going to copy them and place them into your named folder that you created to put your dumped files into. So we're going to copy the ROM FS, EXE FS. We're going to copy, we're going to highlight these two files by holding control A, highlighting them both by clicking on one and then the other. And then we're going to copy and paste them into that new folder. Once we've done that, we're all set. Now we're going to take that folder and drag it into the PK3DS. All right. Once we're done making our changes or whatever, then we're going to now reopen the folder and then we're going to take those two files. Then we're going to drag it back into its original folder that you got the game from. And then you're going to replace the original files with the modified files. And then you're going to rebuild your game. After you rebuild your game, you'll be able to play it if you get that error message. So this video is pretty quick. This will solve any of your issues. If you have any questions still down below, leave those comments down in the comment section below and I'll help you when I can and when I'm available. Also make sure to leave a like. And I also have a very interesting hack package for 3ds if you guys are interested in that let me know down in the comment section where I built a pretty decent 3ds hack pack filled with useful tools for 3ds hacking if you guys are interested in getting a similar or maybe same pack that I've created for myself that I use for 3ds hacking and editing and stuff like that also let me know and also too, you guys, uh, I noticed that a lot of you are looking at the old Game Boy Advance uh, type of editing. I got some more editing stuff coming up for 3DS titles. But if you guys would like me to go back and show you how to edit some GBA titles and stuff like that, let me know down in the comments as well because I see some of you are interested in that GBA editing type of stuff too. It's a little bit more simple. It's not as advanced as the 3ds stuff but um i see some of you guys are interested in that but if if you do got if you guys do want me to do that then let me know down in the comment section well okay guys share and subscribe for more videos like this until next time this has been k7 peace out guys later